All right, guys. Uh, it's Lord Volkark here. Sorry about the uh, on and off. Having some small issues involving the actual feed. Now, the issue was that we were apparently not uh, getting our full connection, but hey, we finally are. Now, I'm very excited today to announce some things uh, for my personal reasons or, you know, personal response and everything else. Uh, my actual personal analysis, by the fact that I have six people now watching on constant basis, is that I also, there we go, have the PC officially built, it is posted, and it has Windows. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have a full uh, video set of the building lot because it was taking a lot more longer time frame, and unlike a lot of the actual pros on YouTube, I do not have the money to blow on the build or, you know, on the footage and everything else. I, I use a small webcam from an Xbox uh, 360, the original version, and, uh, for my webcam. I use sound off of a Bluetooth headphone set that is actually messed up, but hey, still responds for sound. So, guys, you know, all I can say is, sorry. Uh, if you have more money, if you want to, you know, start sponsoring me, hey, let me know and work this out. But otherwise, I've done my best. Now, moving on. We've got the PC working. Uh, I can see you already have some light issues that I can see on the screen. I'm using the big TV in the back to actually give you guys some definition. Uh, let's see if we can switch over to full screen mode. There we go. Full screen mode. All right. Oh, on the light. Oh, on the light. The dog hanging on the light. Okay, maybe I should actually turn off the main set light here. Let me see if we can get you a better. Nope. It's the same up here on the screen. Uh, it's too bright to see, but YouTube is up there on the public screen. Uh, you can see down here at the bottom, a little red down there. It's actually the PC in its case. Well, the case and everything working. It's currently sitting at a CPU temperature at idle of 29 degrees, which is awesome because that's freezing. Anyway, uh, with just idle, we are in the current process of actually downloading one game, and I will be buying a benchmark um, hopefully maybe within this next check. I've got to see how much I have left. We'll see for next uh, also, you know, maybe next check as well. Uh, there's a good benchmark a lot of people use for public on YouTube, and I will be doing that. Now, I was managing to, I managed to finally get this is programming to work. So there wasn't over major issues. Uh, most of it was just, you know, kind of learn along. I did have to flash it once uh, in my build, which is thankfully because it is a, uh, well, SSD PC. The flash didn't do any major harm to it, and, you know, I was able to quickly re-download everything, which is, you have to give something to my, that uh, Triton, Triton, yeah, Triton, uh, SSD, I mean, that was fast. 512 gig stuff, all that data right off the, you know, motherboard. Uh, download the Windows download, which by the way, I have to give props to friends, which is the you know closest that I've got to sponsors. Um, I don't have any sponsors, guys. Do not. I will tell you when I do get sponsors, but I decide to get sponsors or you know sponsors decide to love me in. But I do not have any sponsors, so all of this is on me. Uh, this is built completely on me. This is designed completely on me. Everything I do is completely on my design. Uh, by the way, that will not be staying there over there at the TV. Uh, we will move that into a better position of interest. There we go. Hey, look, it looks a little bit normal. All right. What? Well, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. We need to actually reload everything on there. The SSD is going to have one game and one benchmark programming besides the actual programming of the internal system. Uh, the one thing that I have not done yet is the hub. Internal hard drive that I got for the four terabytes, I have to mount that into the system. Unfortunately, it looks like it will have to be split between two terabytes each for a hybrid drive that, that kind of sucks. But, you know, hey, if it works, I'm going to be happy about that. 
Um, you can see the distance I have right now because that's the one port that I'm using right over there for USB. I have a one gig just like a, you know, uh, graphics card. By the way, hey guys, the older graphics card, the used graphics card that I bought off of Amazon worked. It's the one running in it right now. I've kind of considered taking the graphics card out of the current computer, which is down here at the bottom, and putting it into that one and see what it does. But at the same time, I'm like, man. A lot of the performance design structure on the motherboard and the actual internal design looks like a lot of goodness. Uh, to be honest, it really loads pretty well. The speed runs surprisingly fast. Now, that could be because of this older computer. It does have a lot more programs on here that I haven't, you know, removed in overabundance. But, hey, you know, you know, I see a lot of potential. I don't do a lot of house cleaning unless I really see. A reason. Uh, I've got a free uh, virus program now on my kit. that computer, which is pretty awesome, came from Zeus, and it says I have 260 days, which, you know, 368 days in a year, I believe, unless I'm wrong, you want to correct me, yeah. Anyway, so, new computer is basically, it's supposed to discuss. Windows in it. Uh, it's got a lot of internal programming from the actual company of the Zeus. Uh, it's got its fans right now, the fans in it, which by the way, we'll, we'll be adjusting cooling and everything. Uh, the fans in it are the normal fans that came with it. Uh, because I haven't decided to add any more. Well, I haven't got the fans I'm going to add, which is PMW cable and fans. I have found some really cheap ones that are going to be 120 milliliters. And in total, there will be 10 of those coming in, but there will be 11 fans um, that are PMW. Because I already have the fan, which, by the way, I did put that in there. Uh, the fan from Best Buy, which I can't remember the name of the company, but, you know, that fan in there. And I think I actually mounted it the wrong way. I still haven't decided to take that out yet. Uh, because it's not showing the issue. But they are all running, and they are running on 7. Uh, still don't really think this is allowed either. But I mean, there are all RPMs, which is uh, really interesting because the three, uh, well, the four other normal case fans that are in there shouldn't be able to do that, but apparently they can. Interesting. Uh, there will be four in total of the three pin fans that will be in that case. So we're going to go with 11 plus 15 fans that are about to be in the case. Uh, we've got the two fan. Oh, I'm sorry. Getting the ten fans in. Let's, let me kind of rewind. All right. So what I probably need to do for my build to even really start was this CPU for Why? Because you can't run your CPU even in post, and unless you want to kill it without a CPU killer. Now, thankfully, I went to my local Alltech store. I'm a Texan. Uh, this is a Texas line chain store. that's very awesome for you know us here in Texas. And they had this. Now, I thought it was another brand, and I was actually going to see if I could convince them to drop the price because I, you know, saw it on Amazon for cheaper. The issue was, this was not that brand. Uh, it's still good. It's still comfortable. Uh, so air cooling. Yes, I uh, spoke a lot about doing air cooling, but the problem was the air cooling will not fit across the motherboard without moving the graphics card down one. Since I'm keeping it to a singular, you know, I really didn't feel it would be an issue, but at the same time, it's like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to finally, you know, say, this is last day on the coffin. Let's just, you know, go with that. So I'm liquid cooling this bad boy well, with the closed loop cooler, which is the Course Air H109. Not exactly a bad cooler, and it runs pretty damn well. It's actual ambience, which, by the way, I'm reading off the box, guys. Uh, this is a reference for, you know, the box, not what I've found out. Uh, which, Hydro Series H100, it goes all the way to 47.94. Uh, Again, I haven't done, which is a uh, 4.6 hertz of a 100% load, ambience of 25 LPS. Now, as you remember, my chipset is... A, and drop the box. Uh, just that it's an unlocked chipset, so 4.7, not maybe impossible. I say not maybe because I don't know if I'm going to try it. Well, oh, yeah. 
not maybe impossible. Uh, the PC on, you know, just running up there with Windows on the screen right now is uh, running at a 30, 30 degree temp just, you know, casually, which is, you know, pretty badass in my eyes. Um, but I haven't taken out the thing, uh, just, to, you know, give it a little bit of benchmarking. And I will be doing a lot more, you know, OS uh, altering because I will be putting Linux on this. Which, funny enough, in the motherboard card, or, you know, sorry, the motherboard, yeah, fine. Sorry, guys, uh, random ADD moment. Notice I did not. There we go. All right, guys. This is Dill the blog number nine. We need to make sure that says Dill blog number nine. Anywho, so, Dill blog number nine. I have not done any bitch tests at it. I did mess with the strap a little bit for fun uh, in a later in night. Then I probably should have. I would have a lot of tax to sleep, but you know what? Screw it. Have a little bit of fun with that. The issue was when I mess with the strap, which is actually the uh, RAM represent, which I have four eight gig of RAM on them, and they are supposed to run at two hundred and sixty six six. And right now they read that they're running two hundred and thirty seven on a common. I thought if I uh, switched it to what was in the in other words, what's like the 15, 15, 15, 15, this four. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, it would make them run better. Unfortunately, it decided to crack ASL out in the motherboard's operating system. Uh, so I had to fix that, which meant that I had to do that white. Uh, so screw-ups happen, guys, and thankfully I was able to fix it. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, I am waiting for the fan. Uh, as I told you, there will be a 15 complete, but there will be a setup. I will show you the setup because I'm actually going to do the walk up to the full fan setup. Um, but for the cooler, it does have its two fans that it comes with. Um, but surprisingly enough, there is a not only a port to plug in the actual cooler's fans itself, there's an actual port to plug in more fans for a full full configuration. Now, if you run push full on this, I mean, I, I, I'd assume it'd be running a lot, you know, better on a, you know, cooling. You know, and I'm gonna say that word a billion times. Anyway, run better on cooling. But I was very surprised when I saw that it was capable to do so and still process on my motherboard, which is what I've been told, or you know, picked up from the website and a few different review reviewing things that you, you can do when you do a four, it will still register that there's four fans on that one thing. So you will still be able to see it under your motherboard, you know, coding, which is pretty good for the Zeus board, uh Zeus Rampage board is in there. It, it, it really does have a good setup. And then the downloading program that's for Zeus also does a good setup for the fan as well. Full fan control and then fan definition. Kind of why I know my fan might, one of my fans I'm out is wrong in that, the fans that I'm out. Uh, because it is blowing at a lower rate, yet the other one is showing it's like up and down, which might mean that the force of air is applying to each other. Uh, all right, now uh, But otherwise, you know, it's, it's golden. Golden. It. Did throw a few post tests not too long ago of issues, and then I, you know, decided to hit the reset button, and magically it was clear. Uh, but I'm happy about that. But I will be going through some of the Windows airing to see if there's a Windows airing list, and that way we can see if there's you know, the errors listed like errors listed like that. Uh, but yeah. Most of it is golden. I actually have some you know, really good free programming that I got uh, from Zeus, including its actual antivirus programming. Uh, the only thing that doesn't seem to be wanting to work, and that might be just my screw up on my side again, is an Zeus, supposed to be an Zeus program that you can download and use on tablet and cell phones, smartphones, you know, being definition here. 
so that you can actually link them across, which I've already done that a few billion times uh, without ever using a program like directly from my motherboard, uh, just because out of curiosity. And, you know, cloud serving is kind of safe, kind of, uh, but, you know, I don't really have a major purpose of it. I used to throw it, uh, videos, believe it or not, to you guys on YouTube, but throw it to the computer uh, instead of one through the wire source. And uh, I'm not going to be doing that now, uh, that way now, because you guys, it's really easy. If you ever decide to do upload, you upload through Twitch, uh, which is great for Twitch to have done for, for Twitch. Um, what else has I been up to? Uh, I've been scouring around the house for actual keyboards. You know, I've got a little crappy keyboard over here, and I have my good keyboard over here. Um, just because I needed a good link across, because uh, that's a good length away from my, you know, me where I am in this space. Uh, we'll be getting a desk and then, you know, be turning it all around so it actually faces a better direction for the wall is less shiny. So when a light goes on, you guys won't be like, ah, fucking handling the light. Uh, uh, but before that, I will be getting those fans in. I will get the controlling board. We'll get a USB controlling board. Make the front USB headers that are USB 2. Or in the case, I needed two of those. Unfortunately, my motherboard had one, and I needed to take one up just to run the uh, Ucula and run its link system, uh, which is an internal program that you down, download and you run the link system, but I was able to run the fan just the use program for the fan source. Uh, and they do register as two, even though they are one on one header, so there's two register fans on that CPU fan. Uh, and then there will be four, and I won't have to use the other connections, which will mean if I don't use opt, I'll have six, which is a CPU opt, which I'm assuming to optional to use an extra CPU connection through multiple for multiple other fans. Uh, but I mean that little helpful cable. Get it. By the way, this is a really awesome cable. This exists, but it doesn't exist for motherboard directly plugged. So, you know, apparently that's impossible uh, in their eyes. Anyway, I don't know if you can see this because of the light, uh, but this is a four pin splitter directly into the Corsair H100i CPU cooler. And there are two of them that come to the back here, and I know I should have done a lot better research. I was just I finally was tired. I needed it to run. I wanted it to run. I wanted it to run, and I got it running now. And it's awesome. And it's great. And I'm, you know, really, really uh, proud of it. Um, that is working. What else are we gonna do? Other than we're gonna reference out a few things. Uh, fans will be coming in. We'll do a live video of that. Uh, we will do some benchmarks, which hopefully we're being able to go through live. Uh, I'm able to do a lot of data research and see how fast the internet is a lot easier with this one, uh, the newer computer, than the uh, current computer. The current computer is kind of hit and miss. Um, Speedtest, uh, net guys, is great, but embedded programming is a lot better. And then I can circulate through the embedded programming and kind of make traffic work a little bit better. Uh, through wireless sourcing. But hey, if you guys are PC gamers, give you a giant hint. If you have better internet than the, you know, shitty cell phone service that I have, uh, please direct plug in your PC. Your your speed will go way faster. Way faster. And just great. And you'll be like, wow, that's wonderful. But it doesn't, uh, no. I think it's out here. Uh, with stuff. Uh, but, Hey, I'm not going to accept you to enjoy myself in the Uh, so that's about it. Oh, one rant. Fuck you, Windows 10. <laughs> uh, this is the most polite way I can never say it. I've gotten to see some of the reviews directly from Windows. And um, sorry to say that Windows 10 and Windows 8 are pretty much the same damn thing. They were meant for tablets because their conference re constant reference back are references to their tablet sources. And they go, look, PC can do this too. I go, that's a touchscreen thing. 
well, you guys can get him on our, you know, servers now and stuff like that. You mean we can get him as long as, on your servers as long as we have an Xbox One? Well, yeah. Use your PC as a screen. Well, screw you with uh, Windows 10. I'm pretty good much going to already write you off as a failure. Right. You heard me? Failure. Uh, because I was kind of curious to see what they were going to do until that moment. And it was revealed to suck a lot. So guys, don't update your Windows 7 to Windows 10 unless you're forced to, uh, because they decided to drop Windows 7, which I think they're going to do. Is what they're going to do, drop Windows 7, and we'll be stuck with Windows 10 with the ambient PUP app or PUP uh, programs, which is, you know, programming you don't want on your damn... Uh, PC anyway, but you're forced to download it. We're running in the background, you know, shit that social shit that you really don't need. No, Drew Cortana, she was really good in a video game. But who the hell? I mean, come on, guys. You want this program running constantly? People freaked out because there were web possible cameras on fucking TV. Can you imagine a program that constantly listens to your ass, recognizes your ass, and can tell directly who and what was insured that definitely walked up the computer? You paranoid motherfuckers are really, you know, worried about shit. Why the hell did you let them build Cortana or fucking crap programs in your goddamn iPhone? Uh, because I have an Android. Guess what? I shut that fuck off. You know why? Because it runs too much programming in the background and I have unlimited data. Screw you guys. I really want, you know, faster run and programming. So I don't run Google search or, you know, but Google. Okay, Google, you know, moments. I don't do that. Why? Because I'm not a lady yet. Um, that's my rant. Rant is finished. Anyway, so that happened. Unfortunately, it looks like Windows 10 is going to be a lost out. Because it really is designed, again, to reflect a lot of what Windows 8 is, which is just horrible, horrible stuff. So, guys, I say to avoid it like plague. I am, unless they're going to admit that they're shutting off Windows 7, and then I'm going to have to watch the ship over. So, one says with a bus, we blocked out a little bit on there. That is, I got my PC up. I'm waiting for the last part to actually make it even run better because it's, it's running at a 32, well, 30 degree temperature pretty well with just the case fans on there. And I can't, you know, just the case fans and the CPU cooler and the one extra fan that I did add, uh, which might actually be on more of a hindrance than in benefit. But with that said, I'm going to sign out, uh, cut down everything, and go to work. It should be by the 11th of this month that I get my stuff in, in theory. And, I mean, get my stuff in and I do this video. That's, that's what I'm really planning. I don't believe it will be here between that time. I would like to say it would, um, but my fans are being shipped in from International. Yeah, we'll see. So, guys, keep watching. Add me. Uh, get on YouTube. Add me. I will do all of those. I have uh, three different videos that I actually need to go through and edit first, and then those will be uploaded to you guys where you can see on public view. But besides that, this PC is officially posted. You guys who are watching on Twitch know a lot better than what people are watching on YouTube know, which I have people, 12 people on uh, YouTube, woo, and then six people on Twitch. Freaking awesome, guys. Um, thank you very much. You guys are always wonderful audience. I enjoy the company. And I will return. I will have a full day off tomorrow, which we will do maybe a little bit of walkthrough. Ooh, what's this? All right, there we go. Do a little bit of walkthrough on the PC. We'll see if we can't do a little bit of testing on the new PC. Uh, with this depends right now. We'll you know show you the link, what it, what it looks like. I'm going to download open broadcaster on there. I might not have a webcam connected to it. Just a little bit of pain in the ass. Um, do you have a way to read up, guys? Uh, which, surprisingly enough, I found my 24-pin USB header, uh, USB connector, and the power source. So I can actually 
plug in your own without tripping out all the fucking USBs on a computer. Right. But thank you, uh, link, comment, you know, do something. Spread my word of awesome. Uh, by the way, Altex, again, thank you very much. He dropped the price on the cooler despite the fact he wasn't the one I was researching and was able to actually get this shit off the ground. Ah, no more pieces in the hive on this than individual pieces just sitting there and collecting dust. Now it's the full thing in collecting dust while run. Alright, right, you guys, um, thank you. Lord Warcock is going to be going on.